In this video, we're going to take a look at what exactly a square root tells us. What a square root is asking for is that it is asking for some number to be squared equaling the inside number. Here we have a square root symbol over 1, so what number squared would equal 1? We know from experience that when 1 is squared, the answer is 1. And so we will say the square root of 1 is 1. Let's look at the square root of 4. We're saying some number squared equals 4. From experience, we know that when 2 is squared, the answer is 4. So the square root of 4 is going to be that number 2. Similarly, with the square root of 9, we want to know what number squared is 9, and we know that number has to be 3 squared to give us 9. So the square root of 9 is equal to 3. 121, we're asking for some number to be squared to equal 121, and we might recognize that to be 11 squared equals 121. The square root of 121, then, is 11. As the numbers get bigger, like 625, it might take a little bit of guess and check to figure out what number squared is 625. We knew 11 gave us 121, so maybe we'll try 13. 13 squared is 169. That's much too small. How about 15 squared? Well, if you have a calculator, 15 squared is 225. So you might go a little bit bigger, maybe 25 squared. And sure enough, we'll see that 25 squared is 625. So the square root of 625 must be the number 25. Another interesting problem to look at is the square root of negative 81. What squared will give us negative 81? There is a tendency for students to say that must be negative 9 squared to give us the negative 81. But be careful, when we square a negative, the answer is positive, not negative. So this won't work. It turns out that there is no real number that when we square it, we get a negative result. So what we're going to have to do is take a different approach, and for now, we're just going to say that the square root of any negative number is undefined. We'll define it at a later time in a later video, but for now, we will just say the square root of negative numbers is undefined. So that's what a square root tells us, or is asking us to find. It's asking what number squared gives us this number.